All right, it's been a few. It's been a long winter, but got the Maverick, still put away for the winter. Uh, I took it out for a little ride, got a little bit of dust and dirt on it. Not too bad though. But anyways, I'm gonna show you what I put on it through the winter time. Um, hoping to make some more videos sometime soon here. The weather finished breaking, get it nice and warm out. It'd be great, but um, put the light bar on it. It's um oh what's it called? It's uh Road Shock. It's a Road Shock LED light bar. It is from uh, Harbor Freight. Uh, the problem I had was with the Maverick roof, it's got such an angle up here that you need a light bar where you can adjust it. Uh, you need a lot of travel. So I went with the one that's got the brackets on the outside. Versus like I got the Commander, where it's got the brackets underneath. Um, that's the uh, aux beam over here. And you don't have much uh, tilt on it at all. But this worked just perfect for the Commander. I may actually end up shimming that uh, 16th of an inch up underneath. But this one here, I had all the play I needed to tilt it up properly. Um... With the LED headlights, it seems to work really good. And then, um, and then we got the uh, the Miller Twisted Extreme uh, 36 inch LED lighted whips. Uh, I don't know why most people they'll get a bracket, they'll buy some brackets, they'll spend 50 bucks on brackets and mount them over here. When you've got a factory hole. Well, these drop right in on both sides. All you do is drill a small hole in your roof. They drop in on both sides. I haven't finished zip tying and getting the wires all done, but I should have that buttoned up uh, this weekend. I ordered from UTV Zilla. I ordered a tinted back window for it. So I want to try and cut down on some of that dust coming in the cab. The, the net just doesn't seem to cut the mustard at all. Um... I still get a lot of dust in there, even with the back net. They say the back net cuts out on you know a lot on it, but I don't have much luck with it. So, um, give me one second here. I'm gonna pause it and come back, and uh, we'll turn off the lights, and I'll show you the tw uh, the twisted extreme lighted whips and the light bar as well. All right, got the garage door closed now, so let's just go in here and uh, flip on the switch. Let's see. There we go. You can't really see it, but it's a really nice uh, rocker switch, factory finish for the light bar or the uh, the lighted whips. It's got 300 modes and 10 different speeds. Uh, when you turn it on, it just goes on automatically to... Uh, all the different modes and stuff there is a little remote control that i got for it uh, i'm gonna go back let's see go back here yeah so um basically you can switch it to red green or excuse me blue green white and then uh you can do a mode on it and change uh change the modes it's got 300 modes 10 speeds uh let's see you can speed it up slow it down go with another mode speed it up but it's got a it's got quite a few modes on it keep pushing it go with something different just slow it down. So, and then uh, you go down, and you can actually go to a. Let's see, I think it's like yeah, dimmer mode. And then they'll go bright, different chases. There's so many on here, it'd take forever to show you everything, but you get the idea. I think I kind of like that the best. Just a standard 
red kind of sets the machine off I mean the machines all red and black so and then um, got the uh, got the light bar got another switch in there just flip that on and that's the light bar I don't have the headlights on or anything just the light bar so that was a good investment like I said you know everybody wants a light bar you know stock headlights are great on the Maverick not so great on the Commander they were back in its time but just not you can't compare with adding a light bar on it but just thought I'd take a quick second and show you like I said I like that rocker switch I like that rocker switch so much I'm gonna replace that little round switch for the LED light bar that came with with another rocker switch so then um, if you turn the bar back on or the lighted whips back on you can uh, set it to do its own thing and you say you can speed it up if you want they also sell a Bluetooth option um, I did not get that but the cost of these uh, twisted extremes were 175 for the 36 inch and that's pretty much a plug-and-play setup uh, you do need a toggle switch I did get the toggle switch through them for 10 extra bucks so it's 185 delivered to the door um, really good investment I like it definitely like it anytime you want to summons the uh, space station when you're out on the trails at night shouldn't have any problems so with that uh hope you guys enjoyed the updated video hopefully uh we'll get some acceleration videos or something sometime soon when the weather uh gets a little bit warmer so with that take care